about it though. The public now gets the calculus of false flag that anybody in law enforcement or a prosecutor knows a lot of time crimes are inside jobs. Why can't it be an inside job when it's government or a corporation? And, and you know what this does from now on, Alex, for the first time in your illustrious career, from now on, when you're talking to somebody and they say, I don't know, Alex, you know, you're asking me to disbelieve my government. This is from somebody who doesn't know history. You say, Remember that Sony hat? Yeah. Well, that's, oh, yes. So what it does is it's like teaching a child. You know, when you have, you have kids and you teach them things like the wind and a pet dies and Santa and various things. These are like little introductory legends and, uh, and, and allegories that allow you to understand the bigger picture. Oh, Alex, it's, it's beautiful. But I got to tell you this much. And, and also... You should also know something when you've got, and for the first time, well, not too much. I feel kind of sorry <laughs> for Obama, who comes out here, and he must be backstage saying, look, I played along with you guys for the longest time. I gave you that hope and change, hopey business. I don't know what the hell that was about. And now you want me to go out and play North Korea? Come on, I've got some values here. I, I, I played along with you people. I did everything from bombing Yemen. I did it. I'm a good soldier. Come on, I'm almost out of school. He's like, remember, Alex, when you were a senior in high school, the last two weeks when you said, watch him. He's going to, he just wants out. And he's going to come out and he said, well, our response to North Korea will be measured. Because anything because it's a con it's a work it's a ruse it's a conspiracy do you hear me it's a false flag Urgh! dive dive what do you and i guarantee you alex if you have any despot who has a bad haircut wears a sergeant pepper outfit like Gaddafi. I mean, God forbid you look like Erdogan or somebody with a suit. We can't, or whose name we can pronounce, no good. We want Superman bad guys, mini me bad guys. We want Marvel comic bad guys. They jump into this hook, line, and sinker like this impuissant, gelding media who. Um, I gotta calm down. I wanna talk about New York though before, before I have a heart attack. Alex, you do this to me. I love you, by the way. And Merry Christmas, my friend. Well, before we get too crazy. Keep rolling, man. You're on fire, oh, Lionel. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, first, first, I'm, I'm sorry. I just Whenever there's a pause, I'm thinking, did I do that for nothing? No, no, it's powerful. I'm just sitting back and letting you talk, <laughs> okay. bro. Okay, first things first. I was talking today, by the way, special shout out to my friend, Alec, before we get, you got to get Dale Watson in the studio, my buddy, King of Country Music, Dale Watson, Austin's own, because you have more followers than you have. And, and, and let me just give you this right now. To, to, for this to be a, I can't even talk now, I've had a minor stroke, a pen, a panegyric to you. When it comes to New York, when it comes to talking about police officer shootings, when you talk about Sony, you have to go to media that is, I don't want to be profane, but is gutsy. There's an expression, um, something to the wall that is, flame throwing you gotta go to a medium that isn't afraid i'm in new york now and we have lost our minds i have a new petition i would like to announce on air i don't know if you go to move on or where the hell you go for this but i want to switch our mayor with the mayor of berkeley we have a mayor who is not ready for prime time Alex, we have a mayor who literally, actually has no idea, Bill de Blasio, of what the hell he's supposed to do as a mayor. He's almost like Chauncey Gardner. He's almost like being there. He, I don't know what he's about. Let me tell you the latest. We had two officers. Hold on. Don't tell me the latest, Lionel. I don't want to interrupt you with the break. We're going to go to break in 30 seconds. We're going to come back, and I want to look as a former prosecutor, former defense attorney, a media analyst, and a New Yorker uh, up there. What's the inside scoop? What do you think's behind the whole situation? Lionel of PIX11 New York, syndicated radio host.
Talkers Top 100, joining us. He was going to be on Friday, but we got him on today because so much is breaking. It's all coming up. LionelMedia.com is his website. I'm Alex Jones at InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Follow me on Twitter at RealAlexJones. And your calls are coming up. Victor and others, stay with us. What I saw in, the, in, in, in this incident is not what people portray. This is not a policeman in the city of Berkeley, half cocked, going out, and, and, and as we say, you know, black lives matter. Uh, this was not the case. This is, you couldn't even compare this with Ferguson or the Gardner case in New York. The Gardner case in New York, they had uh, the video. Ferguson, they did not. We have the video. And I can assure you that what's on the video is what we're going to use. The city of Berkeley will do, be doing the investigation along with the St. Louis, in parallel with the St. Louis County. And our overall goal is to project the truth to the residents. We reviewed the video and it appears that 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 that, that there was a gun pointed at the officer before the officer fired. But we got to complete our investigation before we, before we take a position. Everybody don't, everybody don't die the same. Some people die because the policeman initiated. Some other people die. Wait a minute, hold up. Some All right, that's the mayor of Berkeley there. We got cut off by break. Uh, Lionel, LionelMedia.com is our guest. And we're looking at this attempt to... Well, Lionel, what do you think's behind all the hype with this? You're in New York. Where do you see all this going? Well, first of all, there are so many issues. I want to say just one more thing about Sony Hack before we move over. Uh, Alex, the legal implications of this are amazing. Just very quickly, if you have a private corporation, a company, if you will, that knowingly involved itself, allegedly, with a deliberate hacking of information to give the impression that there was an international incident, to give the impression that another foreign power that is an enemy of the state with nuclear weapons, if you know that, if a company knows that and allow that to happen, not to mention the monetary loss to all the theaters in the meantime, Alex, this is a legal significance of monumental proportion that has no precedent. That being said, what's happening in New York very quickly is you had these two officers who were killed. This is officers Lou and Ramos. They were sitting by doing nothing. A lunatic, a lunatic acting on his own, Alex. A lunatic who had a history of mental illness problems, which is another topic for our concern in the criminal justice system. But a lunatic, a criminal, a insane person who shot his girlfriend, not because of Bill de Blasio, the mayor, not because of Al Sharpton, not because of the liberal media, not because of anything other than himself. And what we are doing here and what you're seeing in New York is people trying to apply this casuistic, specious connection as to who was responsible for this. Alex, we have come to the point in this country where people don't recognize that they are responsible for their own behaviors. If somebody goes out and does something horrible and they happen to say in passing, I listen to Alex Jones, I listen to Ozzy Osbourne, I read the Bible, I watch cartoons. That is correlation versus cause. There is no causative reason for this to occur. And what's happening, we're also seeing in New York, regarding Eric Garner, the man who was killed, tragically, he was not killed by the police. He wasn't choked, he wasn't killed, he resisted arrest and thank god for this mayor of berkeley because alex what's happening is that there is no ability in this country anymore to critically think there used to be a guy on ed sullivan years ago this guy with a stick who would spin plates a bunch of plates he had six seven plates going at the same time we have multiple issues and because of this lack of critical thinking in this country because of this paucity this dearth of basic mentation we can't segregate uh, uh cop abuse from racism just because a black assailant is involved or a black person is shot either by a black officer or not, does not make it a racial matter i hear you let's break it down from every angle when we come back straight ahead and i, and I agree with you on most of those issues but i want to add some points we're on the march the empire's on the run